all right guys welcome back to the channel once again and today we're gonna be talking about the zapier integration so you can see my zapier dashboard right now and we have some automation that i have created only and these was just i was just checking for the uh, testing purpose like how zapier works and how automation turns into so i was just scratching the zapier but let me tell you properly how zapier works and why we should use zapier in our daily life so let's suppose you have an organization uh, or you have a business that you want to run on automation so zapier is a kind of platform that provides you multiple apps that you can connect with the zapier and if you are doing something into your one app and you want to trigger something from there and you want to perform action into another app so it will do automatically let's suppose you have a google sheet and you are just trying to create uh, uh add just you want to add you are trying to add something into your google sheet let's suppose you have a contact and you are adding into your google sheet and at the time of adding you want to send an email or message on that contact whatever the uh, uh, contact address you are adding into your google sheet so you want to send if you have if you are adding email so the email should be sent on that email address so that's the kind of thing if you want to do you can do it into the zapier easily so i'll show you a demo like how zapier works so just before that let me show you this is the dashboard and where you can where you can integrate you can create new zapier and you will see some recommended recommendation from the side of zapier like these automation that you can use so it provides your email to google drive let's suppose you have received any email into your mailbox so it will automatically update something like some action it will perform into your google drive and if you have received some email so it will perform an action into your google sheet uh, same vice versa same vice versa like if you have a google form and someone submit that form it will send you an email like someone has submitted your google forms so and also google sheet i have already told you about that so these automation these are the recommendation a lot of people are using these automation and also you can create so let's suppose you want to search an app over here which you want to trigger okay so let's suppose i have a gmail so you can search gmail over here and if i try to search facebook so you can see we have a facebook if you want to search twitter so you can use twitter over here and also if you want to run instagram let's check instagram is there or not so you can see instagram so all the apps you will find over here so zapier says uh, they have 3000 connected apps into the zapier that you can integrate and all the platform are using zapier so a lot of business people integrate their own apps into the zapier and if you are using their apps then you can automatically uh, trigger your things from that app and it can send you and update your data into your email account or google sheet or whatever the data you want to send so you can send it easily so there's the kind of thing so i hope you got understood about the zapier how zapier works so let's go and create a zap and i'll tell you the things so let's click on the create zap and uh, after creating a zap you can search over here let's suppose i'm just going to search uh, google sheet because i want whatever if i will add something into my google sheet so it should get triggered and it should send me an email into my mailbox or uh, it should send a message on my slack so i won't integrate the slack i will just send an email to my email box so i'll show you so this is like whenever i will create a new spreadsheet so it should get triggered so uh, apart from that just spreadsheet row so whenever i will create a row into a spreadsheet it will get triggered so i will choose an account so this is my default account that is already going to be selected and i will choose so spreadsheet which is spreadsheet i want to update so i will use this one and after that i will choose the seat number okay and after that it will show me uh, so whenever i will add a row into that sheet so it's gonna be uh triggered okay so this is the trigger node test trigger okay so it has been tested and test has been successful so you can see it's showing we found a spreadsheet row which means test your 
your test has been successfully and so you can see your node has been created at trigger node has been successfully created and it has been tested already so now you have to create an action over here so what i'm going to do i'm going to use a gmail and i'm going to send a mail to my mail email account okay so action send mail okay and uh, after that i need to sign in into my gmail so i'm just going to sign in with this mail account and i need to provide the access like this zapier can send the email from my this email account okay so i will allow and it got the access and now i will continue and i need to define over here on which email id i want to send the mail so you can select it from this spreadsheet like whatever the uh, whatever the uh, data you are adding into that row uh, if it is an email so you can select that row over here and it will automatically fetch that data and it will send the email on that address so i'm just going to type it statically gmail.com so this is my email id and this is one more if you want to add cc you can use cc and you can add bcc as well and uh, from so from this one of the default account okay and from names you can put the name so i'm just going to put my name abhishek okay and now reply to so reply to gonna be don't need to put this okay subject subject gonna be hi from zapier okay and uh, now plain body hi abhishek okay this this is gonna be body and now just continue okay and let's just and uh, continue so you can see my zap has been created and if i will turn on my zap okay so i have already received a mail and i'll show you into my mailbox so i can see it into my mobile right now but let me show you into my desktop okay so let's move to over here and let me open my open my gmail okay so you can see uh, for the testing purpose i received it from the zapier that i wrote in front of you guys this one is subject and this is the message i wrote so now what we are going to do we are going into the google sheet google sheet okay the online spread reader okay you need to sign in and i need to choose my account this one okay let's remove this okay so i selected this untitled spreadsheet too okay so i'm just going into this and you can see some data i have already added these data has been already added with the zapier now i'm if i'm going to add something into this one okay let's suppose dot com okay so i'm just adding the email and this is has been created so now if go to my zap okay and if i will run this zap again because it will take time to trigger and send an action because uh, after 20 minutes or 15 minutes zapier send a uh, call an api and get the data from your google sheet and it will check there's a row is updated or not and after that if it, if there's a row is updated so you will get a message so i have received my message without running it let me show you into my email so you can over here if i remove this so you can see currently i got the mail so this is the automation that works into the zapier and i hope you guys have understood how zapier works and in the next video i will tell you how you can make an integration of zapier like if you have an app and you want to add that app into the zapier if people will come around your come come into the zapier and they will search your app for creating a zap so they can do it easily so i will show you into the next video till then tata bye bye and if you like this video please hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel thank you so much bye thank you.